everybody. Today I'm going to talk about a topic which is a word that I have used frequently in my writings, but I've gotten several comments saying you keep using this word and we don't know what it means. It is a tricky concept to grasp, which is why I'm going to make this video today talking about hermeneutics, the study of hermeneutics. So what is it, first of all? It comes from the Greek word for interpretation. So when you see the word hermeneutics, all you need to do is think of interpretation. Now this might seem simple, you know, like the Bible's written in Hebrew and Greek, therefore all we need to do is translate it into English and boom, we understand it. However, it's not quite that simple. Suppose that somebody is writing a letter to someone else. So he's writing this letter to someone else and his reason for writing it is to encourage them because Christmas is coming soon. Okay, next we have the recipient of the letter. This person reads the letter he just wrote and understands Christmas is coming soon. Now in their context, Christmas is a good thing and they get really excited about it. So he reads this letter and knows that Christmas is coming, so he gets excited. Now, suppose he drops this letter on the ground and so it's just a piece of paper with some writing on it. Someone else comes along, reads the same letter, like with no context, so they don't know this guy or this guy, the author or the audience. They read the same letter and they start to panic because Christmas is coming soon and they have not done their Christmas shopping. So we now have a third party reading the exact same words. However, they don't know the author, they don't know the original audience, and they take a different meaning from the same words. We now have three things at play. The author, the text, and the reader of the text. Now, these two readers come away with different meanings from the same text. When we read the Bible, we're kind of, in a way, picking up a letter intended for an original audience, and we're trying to pull our own meaning out of it. Now, let's make this even more complicated because we are the third party who he didn't know, the Apostle Paul did not know who Ethan Renault is or who you are, and yet we read it and assume that we can draw some kind of understanding from it. In addition to letters though, the Bible has multiple genres, law, history, prophecy, apocry apoc apoc apocalyptic literature, letters, and things like poetry and wisdom writing, which would have been interpreted differently by the Hebrew and early Christian people. On top of that, suppose that this letter sits here for 2,000 years. 2,000 years later. And then gets picked up by someone, and English is now an extinct language, so they have to go back, look up what all the English words mean, figure out who wrote it, who it was written to, what they meant when they wrote it to this person, and what the language of the time meant. You also have to take into account the circumstances under which they wrote the letter, under which they read the letter, and try to draw meaning from that. So that, when we talk about hermeneutics, that's why it's such a big topic, because it might seem simple to say, I found a piece of paper with a letter written on it. I know exactly what it means. However, there's a lot more at play than you might think. We have the author, original audience, the words themselves, and the context in which it was written. All of this is hermeneutics, and it does not just apply to the Bible either. We need to use hermeneutics when we're reading someone like Marx's Communist Manifesto, or Nietzsche, or when we're reading Shakespeare. We need hermeneutics to help us understand the author, the audience, and the context under which those texts were written. Hopefully that helps you understand the concept as a very basic rough introduction to hermeneutics. This kind of helps me understand how to think about reading the Bible because many of us find this ancient, ancient, ancient letter on the ground and read the words and instantly assume that we know exactly what they mean when it might not be quite that simple. I don't know if I missed anything or skipped anything, but if I did, please let me know. Please continue to ask really good questions, leave comments. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.